Hey guys, it's Co-op, and today we're going to be talking about banning cloud and doubles and the math behind it. We're going to be talking strictly about when banning should happen and when it's happened in the past. I'll present the information on how often cloud has showed up in top 8 of doubles at majors in comparison to the rest of the cast, as well as showing how often he has won events compared to everyone else. This data was collected from tournaments listed as majors on SSB wiki that have happened once all the characters have been released. We're also going to dispel the idea that we can ban double cloud while leaving cloud and doubles plus another character. Lastly, I'll add my own input on the issue once we've discussed all the numbers. Uh, I want to discuss a quote from Serlin, a game designer, before we move forward. It should be noted he was a lead designer for Street Fighter HD and has helped run the Evolution Fighting Game Championship for years. Only in the most extreme, rare cases should something be banned because it is too good. This will be the most common type of ban request by players, and almost all of their requests will be foolish. Banning a tactic simply because it is the best isn't even warranted. That only reduces the game to all the second best tactics, which isn't necessarily any better of a game than the original game. In fact, it's often worse. It's important as we move forward looking at the data that we are looking for something that is not just better than everything else, but centralizes the game in into either you playing Cloud or a counter to him, an example being a character you're playing specifically that's good at edge guarding to beat Cloud. The quote above stresses the fact that we shouldn't be banning something just because it's perceived as the best, but when there is no good reason for you to rely on characters you would normally play if you can just go Cloud. There were attempts at banning Meta Knight and Brawl that had very little to no success at all due to players not wanting to travel to the events that had the ban, and we actually did see a ruling go through that did ban double Meta Knight, but I feel that we're in a different situation than Brawl doubles, which I'll explain later. First we'll be looking at the data collected by myself and Seraphie to show how often Cloud has showed up in top 8 at majors in doubles. This will give us a way to see the usage in the year and a half that all the characters have been in the game. Starting off with the most representation is obviously Cloud with 191 appearances. The next person comes in with 107 less appearances than Cloud, and that'll be Sheik at 84. Followed after is Diddy at 76, Mario at 74, and Bayo at 60. After this, the list, the list dips down to Zero Suit Samus at 36 and continues a slow downward trend for most characters until they run to zero, where you have nine characters who have yet to top eight at a major. These statistics show that Cloud has appeared in top eights more frequently than Sheik and Diddy put together. It should be noted that there are only two recorded majors that Cloud has not been a part of top eight for doubles, and that was Fo Saga and Katar Saga. That means Cloud has been a part of every top 8 for over a year. As these stats show, Cloud is seeing an enormously high pick rate amongst the 16 players who make it into each top 8. In 2016, Cloud was on average picked by 3.04 of the 16 players in top 8, with the average rising to 4.16 for 2017. The highest recorded number of Clouds in a specific top 8 was at Gommel 2017, with 7 of the 16 players choosing him. The highest amount of a specific character used in doubles that isn't Cloud is a tie between Marth and Cheek at 4 out of 16. Lastly, with all the recorded top 8s, we see Cloud being picked 191 times, with there being a total of 816 players being a part of Doubles Top 8 at Majors. This means that Cloud's pick rate by Top 8 players since the last DLC was released is 23.4% in regards to characters used in Top 8. Next, we're going to delve specifically into who is a part of the winning teams of Majors. Cloud's number of wins is just under 3 times higher than the character with the next highest amount of wins. When compared to everybody else, Cloud only has 15 less wins. This data also shows us that Cloud is part of the winning team at, ma at a major 42.86% of the time. As you would expect, MKLeo contributes the most wins with Cloud at 13 major double wins. However, this is just 2 over Nairo's 11. Nairo was actually ahead of MKLeo with Cloud wins and doubles until Super Smash Con where MKLeo overtook him. Third is being Como at 9 and M2K at 4th with 6 wins. So if we remove the top 3 Clouds and teams, you still have a character that has won more majors than any other character. Next, we need to dispel the myth that we can fix the problems by banning Double Cloud teams. Double Cloud has won 10 of the recorded 52 majors, and we have seen MKLeo be a part of all of those teams. This is my argument to why I don't think a ban on just Double Cloud fixes anything other than making either Leo or his teammate play someone else, which we've seen him have success with his static partner Javi going Sheik. I think the reason we are seeing such a high success rate of Double Cloud in comparison to any other team right now is because MKLeo is most likely the best doubles player. If you looked at the stats of 2017, you might have said Diddy with ZSS, Lucina, or Cloud was broken because of how Zero and Nairo at the time were considered the best. You aren't fixing our current problem with the win rate by just hurting MKLeo slightly. It's much larger than just him winning with a Cloud teammate. Unlike Brawl, this double Cloud team is a problem for one player who is just the best of teams and also plays Cloud. It's not that two of the character are running rampant anywhere else. Outside of MKLeo wins, we don't see that many instances of double Cloud in top 8 anyway. Lastly, my opinion. After looking at a lot of the data, I've noticed tournaments that would not likely be, con be considered S or A tier events were the ones listed at majors that brought down Cloud's average. Another interesting thing to note is the clouds were usually top heavy when it came to top 8s. By that, I mean that I was much more likely to find clouds in the top 3 or 4 placings of teams versus the bottom half of top 8. 
With all that information presented above, along with the discontent from top players constantly ar- across the board, I've come to the conclusion that it's time to try a ban on Cloud and Doubles. I hate that there will be people who will learn that their main is someone who can't be used in doubles because I've always been a stickler of the don't complain adapt mentality when it comes to things being the best or overwhelmingly good, but at this point nothing is coming close to having the same record Cloud does and it's becoming common to discuss how to beat Cloud in doubles and team compositions seem to be shifting towards specifically beating one character. I believe this should be instigated in the next PGR season so that there isn't the problem of people booking for events that have their rules change and them being upset and demanding refunds. I don't feel like we lose anything waiting for a bit to make sure no events change their rules last minute, and we give it one last shot of trying to adjust to cloud existing in doubles. I want to make it clear that this is my opinion coming from being a spectator and a mid-level player. I think this topic needs a long, thought-out discussion before making any decision because we will be setting the precedent of having banned something in Smash 4 related to characters, not just stages. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I'll see you all in the next video.